Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can slow down, speed up, or freeze frame a video clip inside of DaVinci Resolve 16.1. So if you want to adjust the speed of any clip, you need to right click on it in the timeline and go to change clip speed. So when we're on this dialog, we can control the speed either increasing it to a number above 100% to speed it up, or decreasing it below 100% to slow it down. So if we want to cut the speed in half, then we're going to want to take the speed here and make it 50%. When we do that, you can see that the frames per second gets immediately updated. Now, uh, 30 frames per second will still look pretty reasonable as a video clip. But if we were to decrease the frames per second too far beyond that, it would become really noticeable that the uh, video clip has gaps in the frames. For that reason, when people do go out of their way to create a slow motion clip, they'll often use a camera that has a very high frames per second recording. But for this clip, taking it at 60 frames per second and cutting it in half to 30 should look fine. So next, if you want the duration of the clip to be stretched out corresponding to the speed, then you're going to want ripple sequence to be checked. So if you cut the speed in half and you have ripple sequence checked, then it's going to double the duration of the clip on your timeline. In order to have all of the same frames play back in the timeline, you would need double the duration because it's half the speed. So the same happens in reverse. If you try to speed up a clip and you ripple the sequence, then it's actually going to decrease the duration in the timeline. So usually I would have this checked unless you only want it to be the duration it's already set to. So let's go ahead and hit change here. And if we zoom out to the full length of the timeline, you can see that now this video clip is going to be about 16 seconds, where the original was only 8 seconds and 35 frames. So if we play back the video clip from the start now, you'll see that the leaves are now falling much, much slower. So next, if you want to freeze frame a clip, uh, what I would generally do is copy the clip that you want to freeze frame one of the frames at, paste it somewhere else in your timeline, and then this new clip will receive the freeze frame effect. But what you should do is find the exact frame at which you actually want to freeze it. So you can do that by, of course, just hitting play in your timeline. And then just find the ideal clip. You can use left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. And from there, generally, I'll shave the left side off. So this first frame is going to be the one that is the frozen frame. Then we right click on the clip, go to change clip speed, and check freeze frame. The speed of the clip no longer matters because it's going to be frozen in place anyway. So that's why they lock out the settings there. Okay, and so now that all of these frames are just frozen on that first frame, we can adjust the length of the clip as we need by dragging in or out on the right side. So from there, just basically snap it into place where you need it and you should be good to go. So next for speeding up a clip, very similar to slowing down a clip, we find our clip in the timeline, right click it, go to change clip speed, and now we just want to go the other direction. So if we want it to go double speed, we make it 200, and you'll see the frames per second double. So uh, one of the big differences of speeding up clip is that you don't actually need it to be high frames per second anymore because it's going to be shortening the duration in the timeline. So all of those frames are going to be crushed together. And as a result, you could have a clip recorded at 30 frames per second, and it would pretty much look just as good as one that actually had a higher frames per second. So from there, just make sure that ripple sequence is checked so that it has the right duration in the timeline. Hit change, and you should see the duration of the clip get cut in half or so. So you can go ahead and play it back. And from there, feel free to double the speed one more time. So we can right click it, go to change speed and make it 400%. And we should really have no problems with that. So let's play back the clip one more time. And you can see that the waves are hitting the shoreline quite fast now. So hopefully you guys find this tutorial pretty straightforward on how to slow down your video clips, how to freeze frame them in place, and how to speed up your video clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.